Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Oh, excellent. That's great. Thank you. And you? Good, good. Had a good day. Good evening, everybody. What's interesting? Oh, why? What happened or what's new? Just the same. Uh, working. Um, uh, just that. Okay. Nothing, nothing new. Okay. So, and what what is it that you do? <clears throat> what, Sorry. What is your job? What do you do? Oh, yeah. Um, I I work in um, uh, governmental office and budgeting. Ah, uh, in um, in customs, right? Uh, it's um, it's an office uh, where uh, the state prepared the budget for all the in governmental institutions of El Salvador. Okay. Yeah. And we are uh, uh, currently we are in a in a new bro in a new project. Uh, about change uh, the method of uh, make the budget in the Salvador. Ah, okay. So uh, that's uh, the main idea. Is 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 that? Okay. Okay. Problem. Sounds like a lot of things are going, huh? So so. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Well, it's great to have you. I hope you are uh, you had a good day, um, and that also that you are advancing in the platform. Uh, before we get started in today's activities, are there any questions uh, about you know the, the platform or exercises or the class from yesterday? Anything that you're not sure about? At least in my Case, no, I, I don't know about the, the other okay. classmates. Anybody have any questions, something that they didn't understand or something that's not clear? Uh, I have a, a question, but it's for the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, when sometimes I want to watch the video, it played a little bit slow. I don't know if because yeah, there are many people connected or I don't know why, but I have this this kind of problem sometimes, three times. Mm, okay. Second. Maybe it's your, your internet. It, I have tried in my house and I have tried at work uh, for make sure that it was not my internet, but uh, for example, today in at work at about two o'clock, two thirty, I played the video, and once again it played very slow, and the voice of the man. Hey, hey bro. Uh -huh, yeah. Hey, bro. Can I suggest a something? Yeah, please, please. Uh, check uh, the speed, uh, the speed level of your, of your YouTube platform. Okay. Because... Something, uh, sometimes. Uh, Accidentally, you uh, uh, go I down the speed, oh, okay. yeah, and and you can see a uh, one x, a uh, one point five x, and and less than one. Uh, okay. So when it's less than one, uh, the video is very very slow. Okay, yes. you know I have tried. Uh... I play the YouTube platform and it would play very good. Uh, that's why I, I get a little bit confused. I don't know about a lot, uh, I don't know so much about computers, but 
I try my best, but I will try what you say. Good suggestion. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's a couple of things. One, um, yeah, it, it, it might be the YouTube uh, play. It might be the internet. Um, I'm not sure if it's possible for you, but the other, the third option that I recommend is don't watch the video, download the video, and then you can watch it because then you don't have to worry about the video playing. Oh, okay. So download the video and then wait for it to download and then you watch them like normal. Because Very good. Uh -huh, then you don't, and then it's not dependent on the internet. Then it's already in your uh, computer, my, my whatever. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So there, there are some options. So we always have some, some way to fix it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, I don't know, anybody else have any questions or anything uh, before we get started for today? Okay, well, great. In that case, we're gonna get started with today's topics. Um, yesterday, if you remember, we finished the idea with comparisons uh, with adjectives. Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, and we had a few of those that were, for example, the irregulars and the regulars. And I'm going to show you just to help us remember so that everybody can see and remember from yesterday. So yesterday we had, for example, more than, right? We had less than, okay? Better than, worse than, as, as, and not as, as. If you remember, each of those has a different comparison. The only one that is the same or the only one that is equal is as, as. So I can say, Jonathan is as old as me. That means Jonathan and, and I have the same age, right? or Jonathan is as tall as me. This means we are equal. The, that's the only one that we can use for comparisons that means no difference. It means it's the same. The others, according to what you have, can be more or less, okay? So we have several different ones. We were looking at professions. If you remember, we had, for example, the jobs. If it's more stressful or more difficult or less stressful, or if it's the same. Okay, before we continue for today, are there any questions about the comparisons from yesterday? No. You say that the ER uh, and word from adjectives we use for compared to things, right? Correct. Prettier, prettier harder, something mm -hmm. like that. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So all of those with ER, smarter, uh, prettier, all of those that finish with ER are for two. Mm -hmm. And also another clue or another tip is when you see the word then is for two. Then means for two. So if you say, oh, the lawyer is the most stressful, no, it's not possible because it's only possible for two, only possible more. Not possible, EST. Okay. So there's always when you are reading or doing, always there's there are clues or tips to help you identify what you need. Okay. So now we're going to look at more comparisons. And but now we're going to look comparisons with different verbs and past participles. Okay, so here we're going to watch a small video, and then if there are any questions, I'll give some more explanations. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. Pair using verbs, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to go because the video is a little long, but I'm going to explain so that we have time to practice. I think the first part, we're okay. This was from the first part from yesterday. Now we're looking at verbs, right? So verbs that we relate for jobs, for example, earn, travel, work, these are things that are specifically for our job, okay? We can use the verbs with the comparisons. As an example, a doctor earns more money, earns is the verb, 
earns or makes more money than a nurse, right? So we can have, for example, a nurse, and we can use a negative. A nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. And all of those verbs can be used to keep continuing, right? So a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Remember, as, as means is the same amount. It means the money is the same, no difference, okay? Here we can see positive, negative, or just the verbs with that have the same meanings. In this moment, any questions on how to use the verbs? No, no teacher. Okay, then we have what are called that we use the past participles, okay? So past participles is just a verb in the past, right? We have, for example, a doctor is, and then we use better, no better person, but better paid. That means they receive more money than a nurse. That is the action, okay? Or a teacher is as well paid. That means the money they receive is the same as the police officer. To make this off and also use. So we can see, we can use many different things to compare. We can use adjectives, nouns, verbs, past participle. The important is that when we compare, that we use the words like more, less, uh, better, worse, than, okay? So, for example, it's not correct only to say uh, is pretty. You cannot say Daniela is pretty. You have to say, if you are going to compare, Daniela is prettier than if it's, okay, for example. Or uh, I work more hours than my friend, okay? Or I study more English than uh, in high school, okay? It's okay, the ideas for using comparisons? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, perfect. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna practice a little bit and we're gonna try with our partner speaking. Right now it's only speaking. What are we going to use? We are going to use the comparatives from the video. What are the comparatives from the video? The more, the less, the than, the, um, remember, as. I'm going to take a picture and put into the WhatsApp in case you have difficulty or if you are on your phone and then you need to do it on your phone, okay? One moment, let me put. Okay, so we need to make six sentences, okay? How many sentences? Six. Yes. One sentence with more, one sentence with less, one with better, one with worse, one with as, and then one with not as. <laughs> okay. Any, any questions before we begin with your partners? No questions. No questions. Okay. Perfect. So for the six sentences with your partner, we're going to have three minutes. That means you have two minutes for two, or you have one minute to make two sentences. One minute to make two sentences. You have three minutes to make the six sentences with your partner. And then we're going to make sure that it's okay. Okay, so go to the rooms and let's get to work. Jose, do you have any problems connecting? No, okay.
Okay, okay. Stop sharing. Alejandro, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Fine, fine. Uh, we already are made the groups. I'm going to put you in a group, but Alejandro, oh. do you remember the topic from yesterday, the comparisons? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. So in this moment, you are going to make some sentences with comparisons. Uh, you are going to make six sentences. You can check in the WhatsApp group for the sentence or in the platform, we are in 2.7. Okay. In the platform. So if, okay. if you like WhatsApp, what's up in, in the platform 2.7. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Then I send you to the room. Hi everyone. With the end of this class, you will develop skills in listening to descriptions. After listening to the audio program, you'll complete the quiz in order to check your understanding. So let's get started. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they Okay, excellent. Eric. We are back. Ha, you have to work fast, right? <laughs> <laughs> no chambre. Yes, only, only working, only working. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Yesterday I began at the top, so today, uh, Santa, give me one example with more. 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 Hi, can you hear me? Yes, Samantha, I can hear you. Um, okay. Uh, in our group, we say that eating meat is more delicious than eating chicken. Ah, it's a good sentence. It's a good sentence. Good. Very good. Ernestina, give me one example with the uh, less. I don't have teacher. I, I have the more than. Mm. It's okay, it's okay, Christina. Ada, Ada, give me one example with less. Um, little Caesar is less expensive than Pizza Hut. Very good, good example, and it's correct. Good. Marcela, give me one example with better. Um, Smart said, I think you're, you're on. La uh -huh. okay. Lago de Cuarteque Lake is better than Cerro Verde. Yeah, is okay, good, good sentence. Your opinion, good, good. Rodrigo, give me one example with worse. Okay, maybe Rodrigo, Rodrigo, do you have problems? Yeah, yes, can you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, well, 
Reggaeton is, is worse than rock. Okay, reggaeton is worse than rock. Okay, yeah. good. Doris, give me one example with us. Okay, Doris, no. Ivania, Ivania, give me one example with us. We can't hear you, Ivania. You have to speak closer to the microphone. Um, and now? Yes, now yes. Yes, now yes. With us, right? As. Mm -hmm. um, economists. Um, um, uh, work, um, maybe working as economist is uh, better than working as a content, for example. Okay, Jonathan, is that correct? Excuse me? No, Jonathan Celaya, is Ivania since okay. correct? Yeah, it sounds correct. Uh, oh. I don't know. <laughs> for okay. me. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, Natalia? but for me, no. mathematics. I didn't hear you. Mathematics are difficult as chemistry. Okay, okay. More or less, remember when we use as, we cannot use more, less, or other because as is igual que. So it cannot, it's not possible to have higher or lower. So, for example, uh, okay, I, I will say it again. Mathematics okay. is as difficult as chemistry. Exactly. That means the two, the same, no more, no less. That's the idea. Okay. Okay. All right. Me, there. Yes, Marcel. I have a question. Yes, Marcel. No. Just a minute. No, no, no. no. Ernestina. Turn off the microphone. Yes. We can okay. listen to everything. Okay. Okay, Marcia, go ahead. Less with short adjectives. The adjective always ends in ER. No, no, no. It's any 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 adjective, for example, with less. Is a if I remember the example was a uh, Little Caesars is less expensive than uh, uh, Pizza Hut. Uh, for example, with certain adjectives like big, bigger is less bigger than. Okay, I understand. I understand what you mean. Okay. So yes, is so it's less. Uh, you're going to use those words. Is a uh, less bigger? No, you're going to say it's less big, right? Because you are using the comparative already less. Less is like the ER. Uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, and I think the last example, I don't remember, I, I lost where it was, but let, let's continue with Hilda. Hilda, not as. Give me the example with not as. Okay. Um, I, no, the teacher is important. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, important. As, not as to me in the class. For example. <laughs> so, 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 so the idea, the idea, you, you have an idea, but the structure is not correct. The it's not correct. No. Marvin, please help, please help Hilda. You give an example with not as. Who? Marvin, Marvin. 
Marvin Calix, que está en las nubes. Uh -huh. Ok. <laughs> um, the, the iPhone is not. Uh, sorry. My cell phone. The cost of my cell phone is not as much as the other cell phone. Lydia, is Marvin's sentence correct? Uh, maybe not. I, maybe not. <laughs> Mm, maybe not, or maybe not pay attention. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I, I don't know. Pues sí, pongamos. Pay attention, pay attention. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I think, but, uh, but I think in, in my sentencing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know, uh -huh. I see, I see the video. Yo, <laughs> tengo que decir, si me dice, ay, ay, Lidia. Marvin, no, teacher. Marvin, please repeat your sentence, and Lidia is going to say it's correct or not correct. Okay, the cost of my cell phone, my cell phone is not as much as the other cell phone. Uh, no teacher, it's incorrect. Okay, and for you Lydia, what is the correct way? Because uh, he used um, as not, it is not as. The correct is not as. Okay, so is that Marvin's idea is correct, but when he speaks, mm -hmm. he said uh, as not, and it should be not as, right? It's, uh, it's correct, teacher. I tell you, uh, my son not as tall as me. Mm -hmm. Marvin, is that correct? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's the same mistake, right? It's the same mistake. It's not as. Oh. as tall as mm -hmm. me. Correct. Okay. Okay, all right. So I think now that we check, is clear or is not clear? It's okay? It's clear. Hey, excellent. We have water, no chata, no Pepsi. Good, it's like <laughs> perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is excellent, excellent group. Okay, now we're going to practice and we're going to use them correctly. How are we going to use them correctly? We have here in 2.8 with your partner and with your partner, you have five. You have to read the sentence and choose the correct option. So exercise 2.8 in the platform, you have five sentences with your partner you're going to choose the correct one. For this one, it's not necessary three minutes. For this one, only necessary two minutes. It's only because it's not writing, only reading and selecting, okay? So only two minutes. Take a look at some.
Okay. Hey, hey, great. Okay. So now that you practice with your partner, let's check. Let's make sure it's correct. The volunteer for number one. My God, qué rápido esto. Ah, yeah, yeah, we listen, we listen. <laughs> Ay, perdón. Ajá. Uh, we said travels more than a secret agent travels more than a police officer. More than. Okay, okay. Thank you. Number two. Who's the volunteer number two? Me. Okay. And I don't traffic controls jobs. Is less artistic than a TV director's job. Very good. Now, remember, the pronunciation is air. Air. Air, air. Uh -huh. air traffic air. controllers. Controllers. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. thank you. You're welcome. Number three, who's number three? Me. Me. Okay. Oh, well, I know. Jonathan, number three, and then I think it was uh, Doris, number four. Okay. 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 Number three, uh, landscapers have less education than veterinarians. Okay. You have, you say have less education, correct? Education than veterinarians. Have, have, have less education than veterinarians. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Number four, I think it was uh, Doris, was it? Okay. Working as a comedian is harder than being a public speaker. Okay, good. Only to notice the pronunciation is comedian. Comedian. And the pronunciation is public speaker. Speaker. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, Doris. And the last volunteer, number five. Number five. Me, teacher, me. Okay, Ernestina. Okay, number five, aerobics instructor. Instructor. Air less than soccer coach. Okay, good. And yes, the pronunciation was correct. Instructors. Instructors. Instructor. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. Hey, excellent job, team. Excellent job. Congratulations. Ah, it's good. That means we understand the lesson. Perfect for comparisons. Now we're going to be learning a new topic. The new topic is helping us with our listening skills for descriptions. Descriptions. What type of descriptions? Professional descriptions. For example, the jobs, the things that you do. So here we have three pictures. What are the three jobs? Look at the pictures. What is the first picture? What, what do you think is this profession? Typewriter. Okay, typewriter is the machine. What is the job? What is the profession? Secretary. Maybe secretary. Uh huh. A another name for secretary? Call center. Oh, maybe no call center. An agent. An agent. Uh -huh. Assistant. Assistant. Maybe, maybe an assistant. Very an good. Assistant. Very good. Very good. What about picture number two? What do you think is teacher? Teacher. Teacher, coach, or a coach, okay. an English teacher. Ah, an English teacher. Okay, okay. And what is picture number three? What is the profession? Chef, chef, chef. 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 Good. Very good. A chef. Now we're going to listen to the three descriptions. Please listen and identify information for each of the jobs, what do they do and what are they, okay? So listen and get the information. Ask is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So where are you working? So what is the question we need to answer? If they like their jobs. Exactly. If they like their jobs and why? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, good. You'll listen to three people describe their jobs. Your task is to answer the following questions. Do they like their jobs? Why or why not? So, where are you working this summer, Carlos? Oh, I'm working as a tutor in a learning center for kids. 
Interesting. What kinds of things do the kids do there? Well, they work on subjects they need help in, uh, mainly math and English. Is your job hard? No, not at all. The kids work on computers most of the time. We have to help them get started and be there when they run into problems. Do you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Working with kids is so much more fun than working with adults. And I get to choose my own hours. As long as I work eight hours a day, I can come in at any time from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Lucky you. Paul, did you find a summer job yet? Yeah, I'm working in a restaurant. Oh, how's it going? Oh, the money's not bad. What are you... Okay, so let's check the first listening. What is the first job? The job. Okay. A teacher. For tutor. 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 That's tutor. right. A tutor. In a center for kids. Correct. And does he like the job? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He enjoys it. Yeah. He's, yeah. Very good. Why, Iris? Why does he enjoy his job? Uh, because it is schedule is flexible and also the salary and he likes to uh, help uh, the children. Excellent. Now, let's listen for the second job. What is the second job? Chef assistant. Chef assistant, exactly. Listen if he likes or doesn't like the job and why. What are you doing? Are you waiting tables? I wish. No, I'm working in the kitchen. I cut up stuff for the chef, vegetables and meat and things. I also wash the dishes. Oh, yuck. Yeah, it's pretty hard work. I didn't realize how hot it is in a restaurant kitchen until I took this job. So why don't you quit? I'd love to, but I need the money. So what kind of... So does he like the job? No. No, no he doesn't. No, no, no he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. And Sergio, why doesn't he like the job? Because the kitchen uh, the, is too hot. Because because it's so it's so hard. Uh, he has to cut the vegetables, and I suppose it is is very um, borrow. No, it's uh, uh, aburrido. How we say? How do we say aburrido in English? Boring. 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 So, and also. And also, have, he has to wash the dishes, and it's, it's not easy for him. And he can't uh, quit the, the job because uh, he needs the money. Okay. And the kitchen is too hot. He said something about that. That's right, Lima. He also said the kitchen is too hot. It's very difficult to work. Good. Now let's listen for number three. Here's number three. What kind of job did you find for the summer? I'm working for a marketing company. I'm doing telephone marketing. Oh, so you're one of those people who drives me crazy by calling me up and trying to persuade me to buy something that I have absolutely no need for. Exactly. Do you like it? Believe it or not, I do. It's mostly a bunch of students working there, and we have a lot of fun when we're not making calls. It's really easy, too since we just have to read from a script. Are you doing this full time? Yeah, but I work from two in the afternoon until 11 at night. So I get to sleep as late as I want to in the morning. Ah, did she like her job? Yes. 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 Okay, why? Yes. Why, yes. why does she like her job? It's fun and easy. It's fun and easy, okay. Yeah, and did you listen? What time is her schedule? From, from two, two, to two, from two afternoon uh, to nine. From two to eleven. Two to eleven. And she says she has time to wake up late. Imagine, imagine what what job do you begin at two in the afternoon? <gasps> this would this is nice. All morning you sleep, you do what you want, relax. The life relax. Okay. She's single, I think. <laughs> I imagine, I imagine. Yes, yes. Now we're going to get into our groups and we're going to practice our speaking about our professions. 
what job, if you had the opportunity to have another job, what job would you like and why? Okay, this is one. I'm going to put the questions in the chat so that it's clear. So question one is, what job would you like to have and why? Is the question okay? Do you understand the question? Yes. Okay, yes. The second question is, do you, the second question is for now, do you like your job, the one, the one that you have or what you are doing and why? I know, I understand. I think that we have, two or three people that don't, uh, that don't have jobs. I think if I remember, uh, Natalie is not working and I don't remember, I think maybe Iris, Iris was not working. Uh-huh, yeah, there you go, the three people. Ah, I said three people, okay, so it's okay. So for you is, okay, are you, you can describe, for example, what you like, what job you want, if, if you want to continue studying, whatever. But the important is this activity is to help us develop our fluency and our speaking, remember? Now, if you can, that's why we have two jobs, the one that you would like to have and the one that you have so that we can practice the grammar from today. Ah, uh, I would like to have because we're going to use comparisons, more than, less than, for example, me. Oh, maybe, uh, I don't know maybe a pilot, I would like to be a pilot because I think a pilot has, uh, is the job is more exciting than a teacher. You, it's okay, mm -hmm. the concept? Mm -hmm. So we have the two yeah. questions and we want to practice using the grammar correctly. It's okay or do you need example? Yes, I need example teacher. Please. Okay, okay, Ernestina, no problem. Let's go one more example. Ernestina, what is your profession? What is I your am a, mm -hmm. I am working in a treasure. In a treasure? Yes. In accountant? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, and Ernestina, what job would you like to do? What job do you imagine if you have the opportunity? What job would you like? This is question number. I like, mm -hmm. Yes, I like to work in the farm. In the farm. In the farm. Oh. Yes. Why in the farm? Because I like to. Eh, no sé cómo se dice criar gallinas. How do you say? Yes. Anybody know how to say criar? Do you know how to say criar? Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. No. No, no, no grow up is the word raise. raise. Oh. And, and how do you say gallina in English? How do you say gallina in English? Hen. 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 Hey, chicken. raise hen. Raise hen or chicken, correct. Raise hen or chickens. Raise hens. Correct. So. And take your hands too. Okay. This is the example. You answer the question, you explain why. This is question number one, Ernestina. Question number two is, do you like your job now? The job for a, a treasure, the, the job that you have in treasure, do you like it? And you explain why, okay? And the third one is, you, and you talk to your partner. Ah, I think, for example, I think working in the farm uh, is more relaxing than working in the treasury or is less, stressful than working in the treasury. The important is use the grammar. The, your opinion is your opinion, but the important is to use the correct grammar. Is this okay, Nathina? Yes, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's okay for everyone? Yes, it is. Yes. 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 Okay, excellent. For this activity, we need more time to speak. So because we need more time to speak, we are going to have six minutes, three minutes for one partner and three minutes for the other partner. It's okay? Okay. 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 So we're going to have six minutes. Yeah. Don't say, ay, que poquito tiempo. No, you talk quick, you talk quickly, okay? <laughs>
Jose? Okay, good. Rachel, I am so glad you're home. I was wondering if you could help me out. Yeah. What's up, Anne? I need a big favor. My boss just called, and he wants me to go out of town this afternoon to meet with a client. That's great. Yeah, but my parents are out of town, too, and my little sister Megan is staying with me. Would you mind if she stayed with you tonight? I could pick her up tomorrow by 10. Uh, no, I don't mind at all. Uh, what time did you want to bring her over? How about now? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Megan. Did you want to spend the night here? Okay. Great, uh, but I have a report to work on tonight. Don't worry, we planned ahead. She brought her homework. She'll keep herself busy. Fantastic. I, I have to run. Thanks a million. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, Meg. Have fun, but do your homework, okay? Don't worry, Ann. I will. are you in, Megan? Eighth. Hey, you've got the Twilight movies. Can we watch them? Uh, sure, but I think you should do your homework first. Okay. Good. Uh, you can work in here. I have some work to do, too, so I'm going to go to my office. Okay. coming. Good. I did half of my math problems. That's good, but you still have some more work to do. You can watch the movie when you're done, okay? Rachel! Yes? I'm done. Is it okay if I watch the movie now? Yes! Can I have something to eat? Uh, it's only four in the afternoon. So? Um, okay, how about some carrot sticks and an apple? What else have you got? I have some strawberries and whipped cream. Anything else? Okay, how about a pizza? I have one in the freezer. Plain? I think it's a veggie pizza? That sounds good. romantic when Edward tells her he loves her. Does he stay with her? You mean you've never read any of the books or seen the movies? No, I was too little, but I'm old enough to understand them now. Can we watch the second movie after this one's over? I have a better idea. Oh, good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? I stayed up late reading Twilight. I loved it when Bella first dreamed about Edward. Oh, me too. The part where Jacob appears? Wow. We must have lost track of time. We ought to get going, Megan. All right, I'll grab my stuff. 
These books are the best. Would you mind if I borrowed this one? Oh, no, go ahead. Thanks. You two really seem to hit it off. How'd you do it? I guess a good book can still bring people together. Okay, great. Now let's check together to make sure that everybody's okay. So let's have some examples. Wilbur, can you answer question number one? And what job would you like to have and why? Okay. Um, I was telling to my partner that I had a great experience uh, when I studied high school. And I told her that I studied technical in architecture. So I would like to be an architect, you know, that's my job. And because uh, I like to be creative, I like to draw, I like to make uh, draws about buildings and houses and all kinds of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting, that's interesting. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ernesto, what job would you like to have and why? Oh, and then Jose, don't worry. Or did you have a question, Jose? One moment, Jose? No, no question. No, ah, okay. So first Ernesto and then you, Jose, no problem. Okay, Ernesto, what job would you like to have and why? Ernesto, your, your microphone is on mute. Your microphone is on mute. Hi. Okay. Okay. I, I, I like to be a psychology, a psychology. Psychologist. Um, yes, yeah, psychology, and I like to hear the other people um, and help the for for uh, with, with her with their problem. Mm -hmm. um, okay. <laughs> so, Okay. I like to treat with other people. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Jose, what about you? What job would you like to have and why? Uh, in my case, teacher, uh, I am a student, right? But I would like to be an entrepreneur or a broker, right? Because uh, you will be able to win a lot of money and create other things and also invest in other things like build um, things about the things that we were not said, but or other things, just invest in things and win money, basically broker, entrepreneur. So Jose, Jose, you are prepared for the Bitcoin, huh? You're going to be the broker of Bitcoin for El Salvador. No, not at all, it's very difficult, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it's difficult. But you win a lot of money, Jose. You can do it. Maybe, teacher, maybe. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it looks like we have we have an understanding. Everybody, it's clear. Remember, for question number one, you are imagining the situation. You need to use I would like to be. No, I like to be is always. I would, because it's not real, you are imagining. So you make the sentence, I would like. This is the correct structure, okay? Now, before we continue, are there any questions or everything is clear? It's clear. Excellent, because this means that now we finished lesson two. We finished section two. Imagine a lot is fast is but together we work good we work good together as a team 
But if you have questions, it's important you ask. No two, three days, one week later. Es que fíjese, teacher, que no terminé el capítulo dos, que no entendí lo que me había explicado en clase. No, I ask any questions. Any questions? No, teacher. No, no. teacher. All is clear. Okay. Yes, yes Wilbur. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to be on class. Mm. And, but the question, the question is on Thursday, are we having the, the middle term? Uh, more or less, not on Thursday, but uh, is the midterm is not the class activity. So the midterm is for you on Friday, Saturday or Sunday to do. In the class, okay. the job is to finish for unit three. So All right. we begin today just an idea for unit three and tomorrow unit three and thursday we finish unit three and then in the weekend you do the midterm all right okay mm -hmm. hi lydia it's no surprise i see your face i see your face lydia it's not surprise you know you know the work is necessary uh-huh mm -hmm. uh-huh we, that's why the other people don't turn on the camera because they don't want me to see when I when I see the expression. Uh-huh, they are quiet. Okay. Now, we don't have the time to do all of the exercise, but we have time to get the introduction, to have an idea for the topic for tomorrow. The topic is going to be models, models with if clauses and gerunds. Now, what is this? This is for the idea for helping us. So here we make a lot of requests, okay? So as an example, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger to make it clear, okay? And what we have are the ways to ask for something. The very formal way is here. The friend, for example, here's my friend or a classmate is, Ah, can I, can I use your phone? Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a, a $1 for the bus? It's small. Maybe here is, maybe you work with the person or you know, but maybe it's not a friend. Then maybe it's a little bit more. Would it be okay if, uh, and then you have the different, it, it, uh, would you mind if I use your cell phone or I use your charger? Maybe a little bit more formal. And then the most formal, the bottom here, imagine you are speaking to your boss or you, your supervisor and you need to ask for permission. For example, I wonder if I, could, uh, if, if I could be absent on Friday. I was wondering if you mind uh, sending me home. I feel sick, for example. These are the words that we use in order to describe different types of requests. Now, what are requests? Because maybe it's a little confusing. Requests are when you ask for something. Hey, Marvin, I want a cup, I want coffee. I don't say, hey, I want coffee. This is not nice. I say that in the Marvin is my friend. So because Marvin is my friend, I can use number one or two. Hey, Marvin, can I have, can I have some coffee? Could you give me some coffee? Because it's only coffee or water is not is not a big request, right? But maybe I need maybe I need a little bit more. For example, oh, ah, I have a problem, right? I need help from a from a worker, from a, from a coworker, from somebody I work with. Hey, I say, hey, Natalie, do you mind if um, I use your computer because I need to send an email, or would it be okay if uh, I check my email on, on your computer or something, because maybe this is a little bit more mm, of work related. It's okay. And then the last one, the number three is like very strong or very formal. Maybe I need to use, maybe I need, a, I need $100. It's difficult to ask $100, even for friends, even for friends. And then a well, Wilbur, do you understand the situation? I was wondering if you could lend me, if it's possible, like in a Salvadorian, right? <laughs> like 20, 
20 circles and then I need $100. <laughs> 20 stories. <laughs> it's a big story and then I need $100. Yeah. This is the idea. So this is the main idea for tomorrow. So remember, what does this mean? This means already, already we finish lesson one, lesson two, we begin lesson three. That means that today or tomorrow, you need to complete lesson two in the platform. Because if you wait and you wait, it's going to be more difficult. It's going to be a lot of work for the midterm. It's better a little every day, a little, a little, a little. Okay? Okay. 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 Before we okay. continue, before Sorry. we leave, any questions, anything that is not clear, vocabulary or pronunciation? It's all right for me. It's all right for you, Alejandro? Okay. It's okay. I have a question. Yes. Yes, but not is about the unit. Okay. Uh, it's about the, the context uh, on Inglés Corporativo. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in, the, in the video, um, uh, say to, to us uh, that I, I, we have to, to to make a como contra for un libro, <laughs> uh, firmar algo. Y no, no, no vi que hubiera un material para descargar. No, no, no estoy seguro de, de qué es, Ernesto. Mejor sí. ya de eso, mejor, mejor escribirle directamente a Jonathan o a Elena, porque ya es algo directo de inglés corporativo, tal vez algún libro o algo, no, no, para estar seguro antes de firmar cualquier cosa. Sí, es que este, nos enseñaron la plataforma donde, donde descargar el material, pero yo en este curso no vi... No, en este curso no hay, no hay, no hay para descargar. Ok, entonces este, decía ahí que había que filmar en la primera semana, que era muy necesario para, para pasar el curso. Ahí. No, no, y, a, a, en este ya no hay para descargar. No, aquí no hay. Ok. Thank you. Hey guys, have a good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Todos a menos Willy, Willy se va a ir de fiesta. Todos los demás. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.